Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today is uh, July 3rd actually, tomorrow's the 4th. And I just want to give you a quick tour of the garden. I'm going to show you mostly my tomato plants and my squash and zucchini over here on the uh, route right side of my garden. But I have a lot happening, a lot growing. I'm going away on vacation so I'm getting everything kind of set up so that hopefully it survives for the week. I want to show you one thing that I have. Um, and I have a perennial bed right in the middle of my garden so that I bring in exactly this. The bumblebees. They're, so this is a really effective way to bring in bees to your garden. This is purple cone flower echinacea. It works really, really well to bring in pollinating insects. That is my ladybug hotel, which really turned out not to be a hotel. I launched some ladybugs in here and they stayed about three days and then they vacated. But I'm not going to let that stop me. Hopefully some move into there, but I'm going to try a couple other things later. Let me take you right over to the squash and zucchini. The bed's pretty packed closely together, but things have been going pretty well. I'm going to be spraying this with um, some sort of fungicide. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but just kind of a preemptively start spraying. Because as of July, the powdery mildew starts moving in to my area. Over here I have a, uh, some green beans growing up the trellis. These are brandy sweet plums, an heirloom, uh, really kind of a cherry brandy wine. They're doing very, very well. And I took out the zucchini here because I am going on vacation for a little bit. You can see a little bit of white powder. I do put um, seven dust right down at the bottom to keep the vine borers away and it's been working really really well. These are extremely healthy plants. Six different types of squash are sitting in here. I have the moon and star watermelon. I have a watermelon from the Ukraine in there. Another zucchini and back there spaghetti squash. And two really nice size tomato plants. It's my boxcar and my Japanese black tomato variety. And you can see the Tomatoes are really starting to set. The plants look good. They're going to get sprayed too with uh, Serenade or Serenade. I'm not sure how to say it, but it looks like Serenade. A lot of people have told me it really works well for um, early blight and for spot diseases on your tomato plants. And I have been spraying it. I have pepper plants in there. Different sweet peppers. And I don't know if you can see but there are spots on there, so they're starting to get a, a disease. They're going to get sprayed too. Baxter bush cherry. That's the remains of leaf spot on there. You can see the little brown dots. That was sprayed again with the um, serenade or serenade. And it actually killed it. This, if this leaf spot was active right around the brown spots, it would be a yellowing. So I'm really looking forward to using that product through July and seeing how it works. Even though these are spots, I can tell that they've, you know, been killed or they're not active because there's no yellow ring around the little brown spots. Hot peppers. This one is Scotch Bonnet, Orange Habanero, Hot Lemon Pepper. And let me bring you over to the other tomatoes. Things are growing really, really well. This is a Chinese red bean. These are long 12 inch green beans, even though they come out purple. Um, they taste like green beans. When you cook them, they turn green. Cucumbers are doing very well. These are my determinate tomatoes, getting to size, starting to die out. They do have some disease on there, but this is a natural progression for the determinate tomatoes, because when they get to a set size, they start flowering. I am spraying these, trying to keep them alive until I get all the fruit out of there. That is my asparagus. You got to let some of it grow and fern out just like that so that it replenishes the root system. Some dill in there, some cucumbers in the back, and this is my tomato patch, so to speak. It's doing really, really well. I'm excited. And you can see all kinds of different varieties. I have Virginia Sweets, Brandywine Yellow, the Aussie Heirloom, I have Indigo Reds, Indigo Yellows. Another Brandywine Sweet Plum, I showed you the ones in the beginning that are much smaller, but this one in first. This is a Mountain Gold. This is a determinate tomato, early variety. And those are really nice sized tomatoes. I'm looking forward to trying those out this year. More tomatoes, all doing well, all pruned. You know, a good 12 inches 
from the bottom that's so that I don't get disease splash. I mulched most of the areas. Some more zucchinis. These are seeds that I got from the U U uh, Ukraine. Hay bale back there that I moved my mushroom experiment into the center of that bale and hopefully I'll get mushrooms over time. Coming across this way, my potatoes are dying back. They're going to get harvested next week. Another tomato. I think I just saw a baby rabbit jump across there. The potatoes will get harvested. The trellises are working really, really well for the cucumbers. They all just got fed to give them a boost because they really suck the life out of your soil. Coming back around here, and I think this is where I'll end for today. Quick tour. Some more tomato plants. That is a round zucchini. This is, not even gonna try and pronounce it, but it's zucchini, it's from Ukraine. And I might say a Kolchak. I have them all written down. But a nice round zucchini. A couple of melons from the same place back there. See that plant back there that has the wilted leaves? Sometimes that's the first sign of a vine borer. The plant will wilt as the vine borer enters into the stem. Then it recovers, but then you have growing in there a uh, big fat worm caterpillar that will eat the uh, root system out as it grows. And then we're going to just end back here. I really recommend putting up some sort of perennial flower bed right in the middle, middle of your garden. This is baby breaths, baby breath. Um, again, purple cone flower. That orange flower back there is butterfly bush or butterfly weed. I'm sorry, actually butterfly weed. The bush are a different plant. I'm just gonna show you all the bees that are just coming right into here is what you want. And they will go over to my squash and pollinate those big flowers. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.